the last 10 Saturdays here at the YES program, uh, we came up with an activity for young middle schoolers. And so in this activity, the people who are participating, they participated in the scavenger hunt and found the different materials that wool rats will make the nest out of. And our topic was about human influence on nature. So in this case, we decided to use the wool rat as an example of how we affect them and what we can do to make the world a better place for them. I was with Smithsonian Gardens and most of my project was on nocturnal nighttime pollinators. So I gave the idea to my group and we all agreed to it. Our activity is pollination domination. And through this activity, they're learning about the process of pollination and also about the anatomy of bees and birds and how they actually pollinate. They're shoving their faces into the flower. So they're going for the food source, which is the nectar, and accidentally grabbing pollen and transporting it, which is reproduction of pollination. Our scenario is at a grocery store, and you're picking out which produce you think that are needed with bees. I actually work with Smithsonian Gardens at the 14 greenhouses they have, and it definitely showed me um, the importance of plants. I know bees are threatened in the world. So we have 10 fruits and vegetables, and eight of them need bees. We're showing people why bees are important in people's lives, because they have an environmental impact on food and produce. We have four different challenges. Build a creature that can survive in land and water, creature that can protect itself at different tidal times that can survive the waves of the ocean. My main project was with seaweed and algae. And I found that interesting because it's like plants and the ocean. So I liked that. You can go and get something. Like go scuba diving and get some algae. We gathered all the things we did during our summers. Somebody did rocks, somebody else did the spiders. I did seaweed, somebody else did coral. So the most of that came from the ocean, so we decided to concentrate on the ocean. Our activity is musical corals. Everybody is assigned a or an organism that lives in a coral ecosystem, and the chairs represent corals. The hardest part was actually writing out the scenarios in the cases of which organism were to be removed. If the crab were to be removed, then the coral would no longer have protection since it's the natural protectors of the corals. It would allow for the crown of thorns starfish, which is the natural predator of corals, to move in and basically attack and therefore destroy the coral. Well, throughout the summer program, I got to learn a lot about geologists, biologists, entomologists, and I got a feel for like what scientists actually do since I was interested in science um, in class. Uh, so it kind of gave me like a potential career path and what I can possibly do in the future, which I'm really appreciative for. This is a great opportunity. I was able to find a passion here and what I want to accomplish in the future. When I met these new people, I was amazed that they come from different backgrounds and they all like science. That's what surprised me. If I saw them on the street, I wouldn't guess they would like science.